Welcome back, you're still watching the game. Expect the unexpected because the UAP just keeps getting better day after day. Still with us to take a look at the games that kept us on at the edge of our seats is UAP analyst coach Olsen Rosella. Coach, what a game day for Philippine basketball yesterday. Yes. Grab it, four and, games and what a, the UAP. What a three-day stretch for the UAP exactly, also exactly. from the opening weekend. So, Coach Olsen, that. let's start it off uh, with the rivalry match, of course, between the Ateneo Blue Eagles and the... DLSU Green Archers coach, uh, what did you see in that game? Grabe, might be one of the best uh, Ateneo LaSalle games in you know recent, recent memory. memory right? yeah. yeah, well, actually, I saw a lot. Um, I actually covered the game of Ateneo and NU. Mm -hmm. So, well, based on that game, there were a lot of uh, questions for, right. for Ateneo going to the, the season. I think a lot of those questions were answered last night. Right. Um, great adjustment by... Uh, uh, Coach Tab. Number one problem was scoring. Where did they get their scoring? They only had 66 points against NU. And uh, last night they had 77 points against uh, LaSalle, mainly because of uh, three guys um, uh, Kuhn, Balungay, and uh, Amos and the Rook. That, yeah. yeah. And, and Kuhn, Balungay, and uh, Amos. Amos, you know, yeah. yeah. uh, Actually, those three guys only scored 10 points against NU. Mm. Last night, they right. scored all 49. That's mm. almost 50 points. Yeah. So, uh, a big game for those three players. Yeah, you and I did that game. And they uh, were na for, for three, you know. And it looks like Coach Tab really uh, challenged uh, the boys uh, in that game. You know what I also liked about that game, uh, Jago, watching it from the fan stream with uh, Joseph Yo and... Oh, that was a nice one. Larry yeah. from the share. It was shot making eh. right, in the end. Right, you know, it right. wasn't errors. It was, uh, what did you see? I mean, you said it. Tough shot making at the oh, end. Oh, we, yeah. we, we saw Amos and the KQ, KQ going oh. back and forth with their threes. And Nelly with a four-point play. Nelly with a four-point play. And then Balungay with a monstrous jam in couple. the fourth quarter. A couple. Kala ko pagod na siya. Biglang... All of a sudden, he goes high yeah. for that dunk. I mean, it was just, I think, talent at the end in the fourth quarter. That's where it all shows. Mm -hmm. uh, and it happened in that Ateneo game. Ateneo just won it by five points. That's why Coach Lagi Nati Sirasabe <laughs> cannot judge after the first game. Talaga. Yeah, yeah. Well, Coach Tab was looking for that one big fight from Ateneo in that NU game. Mm. And I think in the first few possessions, they were already uh, putting in that um, th those effort plays, yeah. three offensive rebounds right away. To finish the game, they had 27 offensive rebounds. Right. And re rebounding will tell you um, a lot about mm. those effort plays. Eh. So definitely, there was that fight for a team. Coach, important just quickly, yung effort. Because sometimes some fans just see the highlights, you know, the, the shooting, the dunks. But yung effort, how important in getting wins in the UAP? Coach? It's a big deal, you know. Uh, so UAP, it's not just about uh, scoring, it's right. about uh, defense, diba? about possession. So the effort will, sometimes it's, uh, it can give you an extra possession or more possessions, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. offensive rebound, like I mentioned. And it gave Ateneos a huge advantage. Imagine that, 27 wow. offensive rebounds for them last night. And it's, it, just uh, to finish this off on the Ateneo LaSalle, you know of all people that when it's Ateneo LaSalle, the effort level <laughs> umaakit pa lalo. So, okay. But there were other great games. That Adamson USD game, ang yabang pa namin ni Larry from the sabi namin, uy, may game of the week tayo. And then the Ateneo LaSalle yeah. game happened. So probably that will be the game of the week. But hindi nagpatalo yung Adamson USD. That was a great match that ended in overtime. What were your observations? Ganon din, natalo rin in game number one yung Adamson, coach. Yeah, the first overtime game of, mm. the, of the season. But going to this game, um, I think Adamson had an advantage because uh, Adam Afaye was, was questionable for this right. game. Yes, yes. And I think he didn't play the whole game. But, uh, well, credit to Coach Pido for, for keeping it close at nag overtime pa, diba? But uh, it was really uh, an opportunity for one guy, and that's uh, Cedric Manzano. Wow, what a fourth wow. quarter. Yeah, for, for him, knowing that, you know, no Adam Afaye for, for UST. And uh, they really went to him. Uh, in, in the end game, the fourth quarter, to, to really um, pound it inside and get this inside game going. Did, 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 uh, can I just ask Jago, did you think that he should have been the player of the game? Like, it was it mm, your yeah. choice? Was he uh, your he, choice? He was, he's my choice, of mm -hmm. course, as, as uh, it, player of the game. Sino ba player si of the Joem game? Si Joem Sabandal, yung, the because basket. yung last na from fourth quarter to overtime got them over the hump, but Cedric Manzano, you know, in that fourth yeah, quarter. Well, see, Joem kasi scored, I think, uh, uh, 
two po- seven of the last nine all of his points really seven in the last minute right. of regulation and, and the whole of uh, overtime. overtime but yeah. i felt see cedric manzano played a solid game throughout yeah. I mean, he was getting uh, those uh, points for his uh, team inside, defending, yeah. rebounding. And so. in the fourth quarter, as you look at Cedric Manzano on your screens right now, me, uh, Larry and I mentioned that nung nawala si Eko Laure mm. at saka si Crisostomo, dun nagwala talaga. Ang lumaki yung mata niya na ni Cedric, Cedric Manzano. Manzano okay. And we've seen a lot of uh, potential dati pa kay Cedric. Definitely. Now, parang, That's the perfect works. time for him yeah. to step up coach. Ah, quickly lang coach, ngayon parang iba na yung setup yun ni coach Nash. Na, na, nakakausap mo na ba siya about games? Kasi dati magkalaban kayo coach eh. Nanood nga ah, eh. Oh, Lagi ka nanonood ngayon, oh, di ba? Oh, so yesterday. Pero hindi pa, hindi pa kami nakapag-usap about uh, Two okay. games, uh, <laughs> games. So, yeah, yeah. so. Okay. All right, so let's we will get move to that on. Soon, we'll, we'll get soon. to that soon. And we'll, we'll move on to uh, the other game that had us uh, at the edge of our seats. NU and FTU. NU won that by 6, 71 to 65 and when you talk about this NU team grabe yung balance nila when it comes to scoring i think coach jeff napa teams are really like that naman talaga in discipline the UAP, right? yeah yeah, right. yeah. Well, uh, this team uh, showed how deep uh, mm. their lineup is i mean uh, yung, yung top scorers you know, for every game iba iba eh. last yes. time it was uh, steve nash now it's uh, Kian Baklaan. Mm-hmm. So um, it just shows, like I said, yung, yung, ano, how deep uh, their uh, lineup is. But they, their real strength actually is not on offense; mm. it's on the defensive end. Yeah, and the, the, we were. I think we were here with uh, with Dip when we were talking about Sabi namin sa interview ni with Jeff Napa that they were really going to drag teams into the mud. This game, by the way, it looked like and you had it already, and then the FEU in classic FEU <laughs> right. fashion. Hindi na naman nagpatalo sa dulo na naman nagpahirap. Okay, we only have a few minutes with Coach Olsen, so let's put him on the spot. Jago. As always here in the game, yes. uh, uh, Boom. And let's go for a quick fast talk, Coach. Kung mabilis lang yung mga answers mo dito. <laughs> and we're gonna call it two early takes. Kasi two Hindi game days pa lang. Oh, two early <laughs> takes two early in takes. the UAAP. So, Coach, who has MVP potential? Ito, two, game, two game days pa lang tayo, pero you have to answer it, Coach. Two early takes. Who do you think that guy is? Um, well, we has to be, you know, um, Diouf. Ooh, Diouf. Okay, yeah. but uh, si Kemba also is mm, making yeah. a face. I think KQ also grabbed yeah. him. Oh. Lena so, Lerum. Pero lamang si Diouf tayo pare- yeah. panalo pareho. Oh, and, and most of the FSAs get most that's of true. the playing time. That's uh, true. Diba? That's true. So, that's true. Pero malaking bagay talaga ni Diouf. Okay, what about the breakout uh, breakout star of the season? In two games, meron ko na ba nakikita, Coach? Parang na, nabigla tayo, Coach. Oh, oh. Um, was that guy from Adamson? Mm. Uh, Montebon? Montebon. 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 Oh, right, right. Okay, yeah. Matthew Montebon. Yeah, Montebon. I uh, think he's been playing well, oh. no? um, offensively. Th- th- there was talk about him during the preseason, <laughs> right? But I didn't know he was that uh, steady. Right, right. Um, and it showed uh, in the first game. First game. And the last game as well. He was points, he was struggling. Yeah. yeah. But you can see the composure was there. And, He's pretty uh, he, he steady. Made, You're right. Yeah, he made the crucial plays in the in the end game. And iba rin yung UAAP, no? Naka-adjust siya agad, coach. And for the last uh, question dito sa two early takes natin, Coach mm-hmm. Olsen, who is this year's underdogs that's making the final four? Mm. Think, coach? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'll have to go with, ano, Adamson. Ooh. Adamson. Yeah. Um, Without talking right to Coach now, Nash, to, yeah, yeah. Wala pa, wala pa yeah. Uh, right now, they're out of. Uh, they're not really out, but no one's talking about them making the final. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you have to take note that Jerome Asimosa is going to play yeah. this, this season. Round, yeah. Yes. I don't know when, We're but maybe hoping. this season. So Sooner I think rather they're going to make, make that uh, um, that run in the in the second uh, round. Uh, so that's why crucial in game nila that yeah. win yesterday over USA. That's a great point. For them. And uh, for the second straight year, bakal nung sabi ni Coach Nash, we surprised everybody. <laughs> <laughs> coach, maraming salamat. We'll see you at the games this weekend. Yep, coach, thank, thank you, you, thank coach. you.